Hey everyone, and welcome to my tutorial today on how to install a VPN on your router. So, setting up a VPN on your router is a fantastic way to protect every device on your home Wi-Fi, like your phones, laptops, smart TVs, and even gaming consoles all at once. And the best part is you don't need to install separate VPN apps or worry about device limits. But not every router supports this, and the setup can vary depending on your equipment. So today, I'll walk you through the process step by step, share some top VPN recommendations, and cover a few reasons this might not be the best fit for everyone. And just a reminder, be sure to check the links in the description for the best coupons or discount codes to help you get the best deal possible on the VPNs I'll mention, plus full tutorials for more details. So, installing a VPN on your router means every device connected to your Wi-Fi is automatically protected. This is a huge plus for devices that don't support VPN apps, like Roku, Apple TV, or older smart TVs. Plus, it bypasses device limits, so you can protect unlimited devices with just one VPN account. It's super easy for families or home offices, as you only need to set it up once. But there are a few things to keep in mind, like router compatibility and slight speed drops, which I'll cover later. Now before you start, you need to make sure your router supports a VPN. Most routers provided by your internet service provider don't, so you'll want to check your router's manual for terms like OpenVPN Client or WireGuard Client. If your router doesn't support a VPN, you can look into custom firmware like SSWRT, DD-WRT, or OpenWRT, or consider a VPN-compatible router. For example, ExpressVPN offers the AirCove router, which comes with a VPN pre-installed for a super simple setup. And if you're buying a new router, always confirm VPN compatibility first. So, let's dive into the setup process using ExpressVPN as an example. Since it's one of the easiest to configure on routers, first, you'll need to log in to your router's control panel. Open your browser and type in 192.168.1 in the address bar. The default login is usually admin for both username and password, but check your router's label or manual if that doesn't work. Next, navigate to the VPN or VPN client section in your router's settings. This varies by brand, so it might take a little exploring. Then, head to ExpressVPN's website and log in to your account. Look for the Manual Router Setup section, where you can download OpenVPN configuration files for the server or country you want to use. You'll also find your VPN username and password on this page, so copy those. Back in your router's VPN section, click Add Profile. Enter a description like ExpressVPN India, then input your VPN username and password. Upload the .ovpn configuration file you downloaded, and if there's an option for auto reconnect, enable it. Finally, click activate or connect. You should see a blue checkmark or connected status to confirm it's working. Now, a quick note about ExpressVPN's AirCove router. If you're using this, the process is even easier. Just plug it in, follow the setup link, and log in with your ExpressVPN credentials. And a really cool feature is that AirCove lets you group devices and assign different server locations to each group, which most routers can't do. So why go through this setup? Well, a router VPN protects all your devices at once, which is perfect for covering things like smart fridges or gaming consoles that can't run VPN apps. It's a centralized setup, so you don't need to install anything on each device, and it's great for unlimited connections. This makes it ideal for busy households or small businesses. But there are a few drawbacks. Changing the VPN server location affects every device on the network, unless you're using something advanced like the AirCove. Also, some routers might slow down slightly due to the encryption, and the setup process can vary depending on your router model. Finally, not all VPNs support router installation, so you'll need to choose carefully. Now let's talk about some of the best VPNs for routers. First up, ExpressVPN. It has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries and uses RAM-only trusted server technology, so no data is ever stored. It's been audited over 20 times by firms like KPMG and Cure53, and it supports up to eight devices per account or unlimited via a router. Their 24-7 live chat and detailed guides make setup a breeze, and and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Next, NordVPN. With over 7,900 servers in 165 countries, it supports both OpenVPN and NordLynx, which is based on WireGuard for routers. It covers up to 10 devices or unlimited via router and has an independently audited no-logs policy. Their 24-7 support and tutorials are top-notch, and you can find discount codes in the description. And for the final one on my list, there's Surfshark. 
It offers 3,200 servers in 100 countries and supports unlimited device connections, which is a huge plus. It works with WireGuard and OpenVPN on routers, has strong privacy features, and is budget-friendly. Like the others, it's independently audited and offers 24-7 support. And be sure to check the description for discount codes to all three VPNs. So, a few extra tips to make this process smooth. Always double-check your router's compatibility before you start. If the setup feels tricky, consider a pre-configured router like ExpressVPN's AirCove. And for security, only download configuration files from your VPN provider's official website. Site. Also, some advanced routers like Aircove let you assign different servers to different device groups, which is super handy for flexibility. Now, as great as a router VPN is, it might not be the best choice for everyone. If you frequently need to switch server locations, it can be a bit clunky since it affects all devices, unless you have a router like Aircove. Also, if your router isn't compatible and you're not ready to upgrade or mess with custom firmware, you might prefer installing VPN apps on individual devices. And if you're using a less powerful router, the encryption could slow things down a bit, which might be noticeable for gaming or 4K streaming. So to sum it up, setting up a VPN on your router is one of the best ways to secure your entire home network, especially for devices that can't run VPN apps. It's a huge plus for anyone wanting a simple all-in-one solution. And with VPNs like ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark, you've got plenty of user-friendly options to choose from. Just be sure to check your router's compatibility and follow the steps I've outlined. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please leave a thumbs up as I I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below, as I love answering as many as I can. Also, check the links in the description for discounts, full tutorials, and reviews of these VPNs. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.